Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Perfect. I am fine. Hi, Robert. How are you? Fine, and you? Fine, I'm okay. All right. Hi, Elena. Hi, Arely. Hi, how are you? Fine. Girls, were you on the top of preparation course too? Yes. All right. Yeah, you were. Oh, no. Uh, TOEFL preparation number three. Yeah, right now it's number three. Were you in the previous one? No. Okay. All right. What about um, Elena? The same? You're new? Yes, I'm new. Oh, okay, very good. All right. Very good, guys. So uh, just give me a second. There's a student that is lost. Uh, and I don't know where group she belongs to. So just give me a second. Okay. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I was, uh, someone was having a problem to get in, but now I already sent the, um, the access to this person. All right, so Arely, you're new. Elena, you're also new. Hi, Saida, Robert, you were with me last ah. course. And Gabriela, Paz, also, uh, guys, girls, Gabriela and Paz, you guys are new to this course or you, you took TOEFL 2 before? Gabriel Lampas. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry, I can hear you. All right. I asked if you were new. I mean, are you new uh, to this no. course? No. You took uh, TOEFL too? Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Yeah, Gabriela. All right. Okay. What about Pass Brenda? Hi, good evening. No, this is my very first one. All right, very good. Okay. All right, very good, guys. Okay, so for the ones that are like just joining us, my name is Jessica Cerritos, and I'm going to be with you guys for this uh, course. I was teaching TOEFL preparation course two, the previous one, and I'm going to be teaching this one again. All right, and this is the very last one. So uh, for the people that are new, for the girls that are new, so welcome. And the idea is for us to um, practice a little bit. All right, to give you ideas, to give you hints about how, hi Manuel, about how these, uh, hi, good tests, in how this test works, okay? Uh, we do, uh, this course in particular, we are going to do like a lot of practices for 
like to help you get to the questions and how to actually handle those questions, okay? So that's pretty much what this uh, course is about. A lot of practices that we do here in class, uh, just for you to have a, a better idea of what to expect when you take real TOEFL. For the people or for the students that are new, have you taken TOEFL before? Guys, girls, have you taken TOEFL before? The test? No. All no. Right. All right. Elena no. and no. Arely, no? Nobody. No. Yes, I already uh, take the TOEFL test, but uh, I couldn't get the the the, the, the score. That, yes. All right. Okay. Good. Yeah, it's a process, so you better not get discouraged. It's not an easy test. All right. But the idea is you have to see it this way, guys. The idea for you to be taking this course is in order for you guys not to go blind on the day of the test. Most of the people that take the test, they have never had an opportunity to take like a topo preparation course. So they really don't know what's going on. They really don't know the type of questions they're going to be like encountering and everything. So it's very difficult for them to like just go there and take it. So that's why sometimes they don't succeed because they had no idea what to expect, okay? So here is what we have to do to like guide you and show you a little bit about what this is about, all right? Hi, Julia, welcome. All right, guys, so as I said, my name is Jessica Cerritos. So I'm gonna be working with you guys. Uh, most of the time, I also have a presentation, PowerPoint presentation to share with you. Sometimes, and depending on the activity, I'm gonna share it before a class. And other times I won't share it after, I mean, I'll share it, but after class, all right? Because we have to work around it. So that's what uh, we're going to be um, doing, all right? So usually I'm gonna, sh I mean, at the very end, I always share my presentations with you, but sometimes I may share it before and sometimes I may share it them after, all right? The idea is for us to share knowledge to share ideas all right and just to get along better all right so i will also ask you guys um because this is like a class if you don't mind i would really appreciate if you would turn your cameras on because communication flows better when i see you uh so thank you thank you all right good evening rodrigo nice to see you thank you so much hi um Maribel, very good. So thank you for opening your cameras. Uh, it's better that way because I can see your, you know, your body language also is important for me as a teacher to see if you're understanding it or not, if you have questions or not, or if anything else. Uh, it's not mandatory, but I would really appreciate it if you do. All right, uh, just for the ones that are just joining us for the first but time. Sorry, teacher. Teacher, yes. I have a yes. problem with my, with my camera. Okay, and that's it's okay. not working. Well. Uh, all right, that's okay, Manuel, I understand working. that. Okay, that's okay, I understand, okay. don't worry about it, all right? But if I have most of you guys with your cameras on, then I know your faces and I know like that you're there because sometimes I ask some people questions and they're not there. I'm like, okay, Rodrigo, Rodrigo, but Rodrigo's not there. All right, so that's better. All right, very good, guys. So um, have you had access to the um, platform already? It has access to the platform, yes? No? Yes. All yes. right, okay. No, Nidia, you, yes. you haven't gotten an access yet? All yes. right, anybody else? Rodrigo, did yes, you receive teacher. the access? Yeah, okay, very good. Yeah. Elena, did you? Yes. Okay, very good. Arely? Yes, teacher. Uh, thank you, all right. What about Robert and Astri, then Julia and Saida? What about you guys? Have you gotten access to the platform? The yes, teacher. I didn't have tested yet. Okay, all right. So the only one is Nidia that has not gotten an access yet. Nidia, is that right? No access, Nidia? I had an access, but I think I have the, the access. Okay. <laughs> all right, I get it. Okay, I get it. I know what you're saying. All right, that's okay. Okay. So for the first, as always, guys, we're going to, uh, I mean, you took the previous course with me. We're going to go over the four sections, reading, writing, listening, and speaking. all right? So the first one that we have to begin with is with the reading section, okay? 
Now, this time it's going to be a little bit different with the other sections, but not with the reading one because we still had one more question to go over. And the, that one is called pros and summary questions and fill in the table questions, okay? So that's the question we're going to be uh, looking at right now. So I'm going to share with you the uh, presentation that I have for you guys here. As I said, at the very end of the class, I'm going to sh share it with you. All right, so these right now, um, guys, we're going to do a lot of reading because that's going to prepare you to the rest of the week for the practices that we're going to be doing. This is the, the last type of reading questions you will encounter on your TOEFL test, okay? So because there's, that's, this is the last question that we're going to be like looking at, I need, to, I need for us to read this like theory, let's say. On Tuesday and Wednesday, perhaps even Thursday, we're going to be practicing with a lot of readings, okay? Mm -hmm. Remember that the TOEFL readings are not that easy. Sometimes they are like a little complex because of the vocabulary they use. Remember that they usually talk about topics that we don't normally speak on our daily basis, all right? So that's why it's a little bit complicated, but it's nothing that you cannot handle, all right? So as I said, this is TOEFL 3. All right, so here we have, and okay, so as I said, we're going to be talking about pros and summary, um, filling questions, okay, and I have five tips for you that they're going to help us to deal with these type of questions and also to be like dealing with the practices that we're going to be doing tomorrow and uh, Wednesday and Thursday, all right? So as I said, I have five tips. This is tip number one number one that you need to follow all right so let's see rodrigo can you please read a step number one okay teacher thank you step one identify it as a summary question okay one way to help you save time when answering to answering the reading summary question is to skip the direction okay Thanks are always the same questions are always worded like this an right. introductory sentence for a brief summary of the passage is provided below complete the summary by selecting three answer choice that express the most important ideas in the passage okay Don't say Sentence do not belong in this que these questions is worth two points. Take the, take the time to read and understand this direction carefully so you can skip them on test day. You want to conserve your, your, your time and direct your fo focus to the actual question. Very good. Thank you, Rodrigo. All right. So this is what, in other words, what this is saying is that these uh, summary questions, they are always worded the same, all right? So as soon as you, these type of questions, they are usually at the very end of your TOEFL test, okay? You will not find them at the beginning, all right? Or at the middle, usually they are at the very end, okay? So if you know that a summary pros question begins like an introductory sentence for a brief summary of the passage is provided below, Complete the summary by selecting three answer choices, which is different because the other ones that we were working with before, they were only one answer choice, all right? In this case, there are three answers, all right? And I will also show you tomorrow how these uh, questions are graded, all right? So in this case, as soon as you hit these questions, don't read the instructions because they are all the same. Remember that when you take your TOEFL test, you're being timed, okay? So if you take time to read the instructions that you already know what they look like, it takes at least, I don't know, 30 seconds of your precious time. And believe me, 30 seconds make a difference, okay? So that's like important. So one of the steps like to follow is identify it as a summary question. You know it right away. If you see that it says three answer choices, it's a summary question, okay? There's no way that you can like get lost there, all right? Again, you have to, of course, here on this preparation uh, course, 
you can get acquainted with the type of uh, directions they give you. So you already know what to look for. You already know what to expect. So again, it says, as Rodrigo read it, it says an introductory sentence for a brief summary of the passage is provided below. Complete the summary by selecting the three answer choices that express the most important ideas in the passage. So it, remember you're choosing three. Some sentences do not belong in the summary because they express ideas that are not presented in the passage or are minor ideas in the passage. This question is worth two points. And then tomorrow I'll explain to you how the grading system works for these type of questions, okay? So this is how the question is always, or the instructions are going to look like for these types of questions. Now, step number two. Uh, let me see. El, um, Elena, Elena, I had Elena, right? Yes. Elena, do you mind reading number two? Step number two for me, please. Sure. Step two, read the topic sentence and figure out the main idea. Mm -hmm. Now you know how to identify TOEFL reading summary questions. Besides the fact that they are very less questions of a given reading passage, they also always have the same directions. Let's look at an example from the passage specification, which is text number three in the TOEFL reading section. All right, very good. Okay, so as they said, remember they are very, they are these types of questions, they are always going to be at the very end, all right, of the reading passage, and the instructions or directions are always the same, all right? Now, here, what this tells you here, guys, is that you need to identify or read the topic sentence. If you read the topic sentence of the reading passage, and if you understand it, it's going to be easier for you to get the three choices, all right, that you're gonna be given. I mean, you're be, you are given six choices. Out of those six, three are correct. The other three are not, okay? We're going to go, like, we're going to work backwards to work uh, on the choices, before reading the passage. When we get to the passage, I'm gonna send you to your groups and you can read together, all right? Because I wanna walk you through the other uh, steps that I have for you, all right? So it says here, um, just give me a second here. Uh, let me see. Pass, do you mind reading this one, please? Sure. Since the directions are always the same, let's cut them out and concentrate on the question. Mm -hmm. Since at least Darwin's time, biologists have been trying to understand and define the mechanism for speciation. Mm -hmm. The definition of species is a group of organisms that do, that do or cool interbreed. Mm -hmm. Biologists have organized the mechanism for spe speciation in two categories. Alloptric and sympatric. In his On the Origin of Species, Darwin theorized that the specia speciation? Speciation, speciation process was a branching event, um, an example of an event that leads to allopatric speciation is the formation of a new branch of a river. Certain species, like flying species, can carry on multiple gene pools as they travel between populations. The second category of speciation mechanism states that speciation can occur when individuals live and breathe in the same location. All right, very good. Now, these are the choices. If you notice, you have six choices, all right? Now, what they tell you is that you need to find three. Now, the question is this one, since at least, like um, Paz read it, since at least Darwin's time, biologists have been trying to understand the mechanisms for speciation, all right? So that's pretty much your thesis statement, okay? Now, if I ask you, anybody, can you rephrase or can you reword in your own words, by the way, what this uh, is telling you? Like if you read since at least Darwin's time, biology, blah, blah, blah. Can you tell me in your own words what's going on? Anybody?
Guys, can anybody take a chance? Hi, teacher. I try. Okay. And the main idea about that that option is about the original origin for the humans. Okay. For the theory, of the uh, Darwin theory, he mm -hmm. people has uh, two two theories about the 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 original for the human, mm -hmm. but in that case, uh, talk about uh, for that peoples and and try to definition for what is the you can understand the the mechanical specialization for that that people for Darwin okay. in um, biology. All right. Okay. Anybody else? Saida or Maribel or Astrid or I Gabriela? To, mm -hmm. I want to try, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think the, the, the main idea is how the way of how, how to born different species. Mm -hmm. This is the, 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 the main idea, the, the way the the way of 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 the born the born of different species. Okay. Okay. Very good. Someone else. Anybody else? Gabriela, Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. Julia. Maybe they are trying to understand how it works. Mm -hmm. Biologists are trying to understand how this speciation process works but all the time. Okay, very good. All right, very good. So you guys are on the right track. This is like what they are pretty much talking about. This is what I want you to do now. Here comes the fun part. We're going to start eliminating choices without even reading the passage. Right now, if you notice, guys, we have not, I have not presented to you the passage yet. So you're thinking, are you sure this is the right way to do it? Well, yeah. All right, because this is what I want you to like think about. This is not per perhaps a, the way that you're going to do it once you're taking your test, but this is a way that you can actually like work around it, all right? Like especially here on our classes for the passages that I'm going to be giving you tomorrow and the following day, you can work it around this. So it says, we're going to start eliminating choices without even reading the passage. Number one, instead of reading the passage, we're going to focus on the topic sentence and figure out the main idea. All right. So the topic sentence is exactly what we had here. Darwin's time, biologists have been trying to understand and define the mechanisms of speciation. Oh my goodness, I got stuck. All right. So here we have, that is the main idea here, all right? So that's your topic sentence, okay? So now it says here what you have to do. Uh, Astrid, can you keep on reading? Uh, try to simplify. Astrid? Try to simplify that sentences in a way that even a 10-year-old will understand. Will understand. Would understand. Right now, hold on, Astrid. Right now, the topic sentence is a little bit wordy, is a little bit fancy, all right? The idea, that's why I was asking you, try to tell me what is being said with your own words, okay? Continue, Astrid, please. Identifying keywords Identify? okay. can help a lot. Okay. The other one, keywords are the most important words in a given sentence. They are usually either nouns or verbs. Okay. Anyway. Simple topic sentence. Biologists have been trying to understand speciation for, for a while. Okay, so you see, they took the topic sentence, the very fancy one, since at least Darwin's time, biology had been trying to understand and define the mechanisms for speciation. Now we have it in a simple topic sentence, which is biologists have been trying to understand speciation for a while. That's what they've been trying to do. So that's what we narrow it down to that, all right? That's what you're supposed to do, to understand sure. your, yes? Sorry, sorry. That's okay, man. But I have a question, uh -huh. but I have a question. Okay, um, in my case, when, uh, 
when the people talk about the topic about technology, for example, yes. mm -hmm. is, my, is my specialization. Okay. And when talk about technology, um, is is very is piece of cake for me and uh -huh. try uh, understand the keywords. For right. example, you, mm -hmm. you uh, for example services backend front end. You really you, is for you the keyword for the people. What is what is the needed? Right. But when it's not too topic, for example, biology or or another topic is I don't understand anything. What is the what is the tricks or tips for mm -hmm. you? Can you understand the the, the keyword for right. for make the the main idea? Right, Manuel, it's very difficult. I mean, the only, I mean, it's difficult, but it's not impossible. But my suggestion, and I was saying this to uh, the students from the last course, is that you need to really get your hands on any kind of topic in English, because you never know the topic that you're going to be like reading, all right? So it's very important for you to read about every, I understand when you say, okay, if I, want, if I was to read about, um, if I was to read about, sorry, my computer is kind of, okay. If I was about to read something about technology, it wouldn't be like difficult for me because I understand the language and the terms, all right? But if you talk to me about, I don't know, anthropology, I have no idea what you're talking about. So that's why, Manuel, as a suggestion from now on, you should read almost anything and about everything in English any topic, even if you don't care, even if you're not interested, you need to get hands on on any kind of reading for you to improve on those or, or to know that, that kind of vocabulary that they use, all right, and to get familiar with it because you never know. I mean, sometimes we have medical terms, sometimes we deal with law, like, like from law terms, from the universe, from, I don't know, you name it. So it's very difficult and I understand you're here at this point in time, Manuel, you really need to get your hands on everything that you need to read in English. It doesn't really matter which kind of topic, just read it. Because that way you're practicing and then you're going to be familiar in a way with this kind of vocabulary. Okay? Yes, thank you, teacher. Yeah, yeah. all right, very good. Okay, so here we had, as we said, we had the simple, if you notice, we went from the topic sentence that was given to us to the simple topic sentence that we rephrased, all right? So let's see, Nidia, can you uh, finish reading this is the most? Okay, this is the most important part of the entire step-by-step -step process of answering TOEFL. Reading summary questions, proper identification of the main idea of the topic sentence is going to guide you to the correct answer. Thank you, all right, now. As Manuel was saying, how will I know if I don't master this vocabulary? Well, there you go. You need to read a lot, okay? For yes, it is similar when it is similar when you go to the to the doctor. <laughs> the doctor talk about the medicine, yeah. and the, the only only way for me is give to the give to the the how do you say mm, receta or the prescription. For prescription, okay. For the prescription, go to go to the pharmacy and right. and that moment give the give the the, the employer in the right. pharmacy because I don't understand any any medicament. Right. Yes. Of course. All right. So the idea here, and this is why you guys are taking this because, for example, tomorrow I'm going to give you a topic sentence from a reading passage, and one of the first exercises that you guys are going to be doing is, okay, now let's take this topic sentence to a simple topic sentence. And let's see, for example, if I'm working with Elena, if we understand the same or if she understands something. All right, so we need to deal with it. All right, so we need to practice that for us to like feel better and comfortable once we face the real TOEFL test, okay? Let's go on here. Do you have any other questions or any other comments? Any, any of you guys? No, we're okay? No. All right, okay. very good. Okay, let's continue here. It says a step three. All right, uh, let me see here. Uh, hi, Freddy. I'm sorry I didn't say hi to you. Hi, Freddy. Can you read a step three, please, Freddy? Hi, teacher. Yes, of course. Well, step three, eliminate choices that are not directly related to the topic sentence. Okay. Again, 
again, we are only focusing on the topic sentence, not the passage itself. We are going to use it to guide what options we choose and what we eliminate. Okay, all right. Now, what we're going to do right now, we're going to stop here. Actually, this is what I want you to do. Do me a favor. Can you take a picture of this slide right now? At the end of the class, okay. I'm going to send it to you. Don't worry. Uh, take a picture of this, everybody. You can take either a screenshot or a picture from your cell phone or whatever you have in hand. Take a picture. We have the topic sentence, the real one, and we have the simple topic sentence. Okay? Everybody ready? Did you get it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Now, I want you to take a picture of this. These are the choices, okay? Now, what I want you to do with your group, for example, uh, Paz and Rodrigo, Arelio and Robert together, whoever you're working with, take the top, the simple topic sentence and work with it, trying to define what would be the three choices. You're not, you have not read the, the passage yet, and I don't want you to, all right? This is the way. What I want you to do is based on the simple topic sentence, what do you think the three choices would be without reading the passage? That's your first challenge, okay? Do you understand what you're going to be working on right now? Guys, do you understand what you're supposed to be doing right now? Hola, hola. Yes. Oh, so, yes. Yes. All right, okay, so. I'm just gonna like show it to you again so you guys like get a better understanding. Right now, Manuel, we have, this is a real topic sentence, correct? And these are the real choices. Now, because this is so wordy, then that's why we decided to come up with a simple topic sentence, which is the same. Set it in a different way, in a simpler way. Now, take this one with your partner. Biologists have been trying to understand a speciation for a while and then try with the three right choices. It's either A, could it be A, D, and F, B, C, and E? I have no idea. Take your top, your simple topic sentence with that in mind. Try to see which answers would be like the correct ones. That's what we're trying to do right now. When we come back, I'm gonna okay. show you. Uh, for example, okay, why not or why so choice A? Why not or why so choice B? And we're going to work through all of them to see which ones you got right. Okay, you understand? Yes? Yeah. Yes. All right, perfect. Okay, very good. So I'm going to send you right now to your breakout rooms. Uh, please click on the invitation to join your group. All right, and you're going to be working in pairs, okay? And I'm going to come in and check on you guys, okay? Julia?
Well, let's leave it like that with A and E. That's what I think about this. The, the, uh, the, the ones that, that we will have to limit will, will, will be there. The A one, the first one, and the fifth one, which is E. Do you think that it's the, that one was false? Yeah. Okay. Those two of them. But how, how many are we supposed to eliminate? Three. Three. Three of them. Three. You're supposed yes. to end up with three correct yes, ones three. and three wrong ones. Mm -hmm. Three wrong ones. Okay. The other one will be F, the F one. Hey, but but I I I try to I try to 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 find the definition for sympatric. Sympatric uh -huh. is in the biology when two species, uh, two species live together, you know, live together in the in the same geography area. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's sympatric. For yeah. example, maybe yeah. when two when when two when two species live in the same in the same geography area, that uh -huh, is uh -huh. sympatric. That is sympatric. Give me a minute. Give me a minute for means. And the A, the definition of species is a group of organisms that do or could interbreed. What is interbreed?
All right, guys, were you able to finish like finding out the three choices for you? Elena, were you able to finish with your partner somewhat? Yes, yeah. we have. All right, very good. Maribel, what about you? Did you finish? Maribel, your microphone is off. What about Astrid and Paz? Freddy and Rodrigo, were you guys able to finish? Manuel, Gabriel, and Evelyn? No, teacher, no finish because and take time for yeah. uh, try to definition to All definition right. what what is the is for the second option for sim, sympathetic or uh -huh. in, empathic is when the when the yeah allopatric right is okay. when the, the, the it's difficult. All right, yeah, it's a little bit difficult. All right, so I'm gonna show you. Uh, did you guys write the choices somewhere so you can like you can check with me? Yeah, did you write them down? Yes, Pas. Thank you. So let's check it here. Let's continue with the PowerPoint and let's find out what what's happening here. Okay. So here we have. It says here, guys. Um, it's gonna move us here. All right. So it says. Step three, the idea is to eliminate choices that are not directly related to the topic sentence. Again, we're only focusing on the sentence, not the passage itself. We're going to use it to, uh, to guide what options we choose and what we eliminate. Simple topic sentence is there so you can like, re, like re, go back to it as many times as you need to. All right, so letter or choice A, they crossed it out, okay? So they said, mm, I don't think so. Let's read it. It said the definition of a species is a group of organisms that do or could interbreed. All right. So the choice A is going to be eliminated. All right. And it says, I am immediately suspicious of this choice because it is a definition of a species and has nothing to do with a speciation. All right. So you're supposed to eliminate A. Did everybody eliminate A? Did you guys cross it out? Yes. Yeah, yes. excellent. All right, very good. Let's let's see with the other one. Remember, simple topic sentence, all right? Choice B. It says biologists have organized the mechanisms for speciation into two categories, allopatric and sim uh, sympatric, all right? The choices looks pretty good. The choice, sorry, the choice looks pretty good. It is directly related to speciation and elaborates on without getting into too much detail. All right. So we say, okay, so we keep B. All right. What do you guys have B as a good choice? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Very good. All right. So we have one. All right. To get two points. Well, we need, we, we have to get one point, at least we need two, uh, two answers, right? Go. Okay. <laughs> we keep on talking simple topic sentence all right letter c in the in his uh on the original of the species darwin theorized that the speciation process was a branching event ah it says i'm not sure this one a speciation is mentioned but it is also referring to darwin's book but for the meantime, we're going to keep C, all right? I'm not saying these are correct. I'm saying we are kind of like, you know, give or take. So right now we keep B, we keep C. Did you guys keep C? Yes. yes. Yeah? <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Again, simple topic sentence is present for you there. Letter D. An example of an event that leads to allopatric speciation is the formation of a new branch of a river. While well, this sentence is about a speciation, it seems to be a bit too detailed for a summary. But anyway, let's keep D for now, okay? So do you guys have D, guys? No. No? Mm, interesting. All right. Okay, cool. <laughs> let's see. E, certain species, like flying a species, can carry on multiple gene pools as they travel between populations. This choice is a specific example of a species and how it transfers genes. This does not appear to be connected to the topic sentence. So I eliminate E. Did you guys eliminate E? Yes. No. Yes. Yeah, some of you did, some of you didn't. Okay, very good. All right. And finally, F, A, B, C, D, E, F, yeah. 
Uh, the second category of speciation mechanisms states that speciation can occur when individuals live and breed in the same location. This option looks good. It is connected to the topic sentence and that's an Yes. So we keep F. Okay, so remind me the choices. A? A was yes or no? No, right? No. Okay, no. it was? What were the choices? B? B, C, and B, C, C, F. F. All right. Yeah. Did you guys have those choices? B, C, F? Some of you? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. All yeah. right. Very good. Now, I want you to read this. This is note that there will be times when you look at a topic sentence, and this is something like related to what Manuel was saying, and can't eliminate a single possible choice. All right. Because it's a little bit complicated to understand. That's okay. This doesn't work 100% of the time. This strategy uh, design is designed to help you focus on the topic sentence and use it to select options that are connected to it. Okay. I'm not saying, guys, that if you go about doing this, you're going to get it right. You will. All right. So here we have something that you need to do before I actually tell you. Something, um, I, oh, I need to go quite soon because I have another class. Uh, step four, eliminate choices that seem like details, okay? So you need to make sure that details, they don't go there because they are summarizing. They're not going like into details, all right? So you, you may read this uh, after that. So here, uh, here we have, let's go back to our question. We have already eliminated A and E. Let's look at B, C, D and F to see if any sounds too much like a detail, okay? So here we have the four choices, possible choices that we were like looking for. All right, just give me a second. So here we have, oops. Yeah, B, C, D, F, right? Okay, so here guys, we have B, C, D, and F. The four choices that we kind of thought they were okay, maybe, all right? It says, I yes. feel like D is a bit too detailed, all right? D. So in a way, we would have to be B, C, and F the right choices, right? Remember that this is a strategy and much of it is based on previous knowledge and intuition. When we really don't know, and this is going back to what Manuel was asking, sometimes we really don't know the topic or all the words, so we need to use our intuition, guys, okay? Kind of like guessing and going like from taking from context a lot of the answers because we might not know about these topics okay but it sounds like a detail that would follow a paragraph about allopatric speciation rather rather than an introduction to the topic so in other words we're left with b c and f right yeah yes guys all right, so tomorrow I'm going to present this. This is the paragraph. So these choices, guys, <laughs> these choices that we had here, okay, they are given to you after reading this passage. And if you notice, this passage is not short. It's quite long, all right? What we try to do is going backwards. It's like, okay, just looking at the thesis or the topic sentence and based on the topic sentence, we kind of got the answers without even reading the passage. That's a little bit strange, but it worked. This time it worked. We're going to see if tomorrow when we read this, we say, ah, okay, this is right. And tomorrow we will also have a chance to practice. I'm gonna give you the reading. I'm going, you guys are going to work on your simple topic sentence and based on that, you're going to choose your choices, okay? So this is it guys for the very first class of uh, this um, module, all right? Second here, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I know it's a little bit different going about this this way, but I wanted to prove to you that sometimes focusing on the, the topic sentence may work, all right? It won't work all the time, but it might work some of the times, all right? The, the idea is for you to practice and get familiar with these types of questions, 
All right. So thank you so much for being with me tonight. I hope to see you all tomorrow. This is uh, the group is getting bigger and I like that. All right. So we have like more ideas and better opportunities to learn and to grow. And that's what this is all about. All right, guys, do you have any questions before we go? No. And just send out the PPT. Yeah, I'm going to send the PPT, Maribel, so you can start reading okay. today. <laughs> All right, I know it's difficult. The, the words are difficult and everything, but these, that's why, guys, I always send the PowerPoints because they can help you out with the vocabulary and everything. So the idea is for you to study to do so. All right. So thank you so much for being in class. Nice meeting you all. Nice having you back again. Have a nice night. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.